Hello there. So yesterday in my channel update, I did sort of call myself out. I'll play the clip now. And something that you don't see in videos because my desk is always a mess. In fact, I'll probably make a video on it tomorrow because that is a whole story for another time. And as you can see, I do still have that same mess on my table. I haven't, I've probably cleared away a few bricks, but I haven't really cleared anything else. And I really should do because tomorrow I've got another ideas project, my next generation of the mannequin hand. And I really do need to start working on it tonight. So I will be tidying all these bricks up and you've heard about the mess. You haven't seen it yet. So let me show you just how bad it is because as you can see, there is a whole bunch of Lego on my desk and I've got bits from, as I said, the Bad Batch video. Just behind it, you can see the snowman head that I cleared from the city. It's a few bricks. I really need to part these out straight away. We've also got the Jeep. We've got a few of these bigger bricks that just don't have a home in my Lego storage containers. And I just need to find somewhere to put them, some sort of bag. I mean, I could even whack them in the pad box if it wasn't used already. I've got the Fallen Order diorama. This is the one that I took apart for the Mario video. If you remember the Mario diorama video, that's how long that has been there. We've got a bunch of accessories down there that now you can see I've turned off my exposure lock. Bunch of different hair pieces and stuff from CMFs, from old sets that really need to be put away. They all go in the same drawer, so they need to be whacked away. I've got some pieces. These, in fact, are the only two pieces left from my throne room diorama. That was months ago now. I don't know why they haven't been put away. We've got the Yoshi pulley bag, the Spider-Man bike that has been broken up, but not yet sorted, so... This is what I'm going to be doing, I guess, for the rest of my day. We've even got some Lego Movie characters. This is from the second Lego Movie. And I just don't know where I'm quite putting them yet. But, like, this whole chunk of 2x4 blue plates could just go straight into the tub, at least if the tub wasn't covered with more mess. But as you can see, this is the ottoman where I sort my Lego. I've got my air purifier currently running, so I do apologise if you can't hear it. but. These are all the minifigures that haven't gone into the Lego City and they're just laying there with the bag that they came from. I do need to package these up. I'm not quite sure why my pad box is chilling there. I've still got this bag of Lego that needs to be sorted, a bunch of plates and I have sorted all the Technic out of it and all the bricks but I still need to get around to sorting that. I've got a bunch of random bricks in this box here which honestly is probably on its way out i'll probably keep it for just collectible value because i do really like that tarp it folds out into a play mat but it's really not holding together too well i then have a bunch more lego that's been sorted somewhat into its own categories but there's a Gaddafi stick there that has come from one of the other sections and they're actually on top of two more plushes that i got from the same charity shop as the lego minifigure if you didn't see my video a few days ago i did pick up this lego plush which does look awesome only two pound fifty so it's going to be a cool piece to pick up just because of how cheap it was and how expensive lego can get speaking of messes if we go all the way over to my minecraft display that's also more of a controlled mess but this definitely needs a little salt and just rearranging into where all of these different sets and minifigures and different little scenes will be placed so i've done the city we've got the star wars minifigures sorted to an extent there is a bunch more minifigures here and again these usually just get whacked on my bed for the videos i guess they've been behind this lego plush so i haven't been doing it recently for the last few but these all need to find somewhere to go. I've got my CMFs from my video I did a while back. And I did actually end up finding the Nutcracker's leg. So as you can see, he does have the boots on him. If I can get a good angle around the plush, you can see the Nutcracker does have his black boots. But I'm still looking for the wolf and the horse rider, the minifigure with the pony in the green jacket, as I can't find them. Harry Potter is sorted. It is sort of hectic with all the sets we've got, but there are again a few more on top. And 
this is probably the nicest part of my display not only do we have the brick heads in the back and the helmets and the giant malevolence but also the space minifigures in front and my lego storage drawers are actually pretty well sorted i don't think there's any other drawers i need to be sorting and you don't really see a close-up in my lego video so i'll give you a quick look at all the other sets and other poly bags and i've still got a third of the dream set which i just don't want to break up because it looks so nice but i definitely need to do a bit of sorting today so i will get this done i did say there will be another ideas project update for my hand tomorrow so do stay tuned for that video it is going to be amazing just like these angry bird plushes but at some point i do need to tackle this bag as well as the box just to the left of it with all the other lego bricks but for now i think i'll start with my desk and just try and get the video ready for tomorrow so thank you for coming along and watching this very very short video in fact i do have hidden underneath my desk another head full of all different broken up minecraft lego sets and there is a diorama which i almost missed i cannot believe this is still there this is my millennium falcon christmas diorama which do definitely check out the video for this because i had a few different things that the playset lego release didn't have and especially the way i worked that couch on the left i really do like it and all the christmasy things but that is on top of a domino box i'm not quite sure why the domino box is still there i just need to sort it up this is my cable management yesterday's channel update said a lot of different things i use to record for my lego videos just to sort of help anyone who's looking to start out and as you can see cable management is not very high on my list it's underneath my desk and i can actually give you a look at my keyboard and mouse tray that i have that sits just below my desk which enables me not only to get them out of the way of all this lego it stops me dropping any of the little studs down the side of one of my keys but also can act as a second shelf if i can pull it out you can see that there is much more room to store lego on it and i'll perhaps make use of this whilst i'm trying to tidy up the rest of it but i guess the real reason i wanted to make this video is a lot of the time it does look a lot easier than it actually is just to make videos and people easily forget the mess that goes behind certain builds and especially if you don't put them away straight away which it's 100% my fault but 10 minutes a day for a video seems so straightforward but in reality it's the time spent building that mock or planning for that video like with my illegal builds videos i've got to actually think of the illegal builds that go into that video that was a horrible example because they are probably the easiest videos i have ever made because there are so many illegal builds i'll probably even get another one out in a few weeks because there's a few that i've seen used elsewhere and i've actually caught myself using in the fallen order diorama so a little sneak peek if you do go back and watch that video you might see the illegal technique used i'm not quite sure if i show it off too well but there is much more than it looks like and you're never really done sorting lego again i've got that bag i then have smaller bags of a few bricks and technic bricks that i haven't yet sorted they'll probably be the easiest to sort out and the box of just completely mixed lego from my childhood from the last 15 years that honestly i wouldn't be surprised if there were a bunch of non-lego elements in there i also have to sort through all of them but it's just little bits that i do in the background that it's not the end of the world it's not too hard i very much still enjoy sorting lego it's one of the other enjoyments to lego you've got building it you've then got playing around with it which i've still definitely swooshed some of my ships like the malevolence that is very dangerous to be swooshing around not because it can break but because it can break other things but sorting is one of the joys of lego and not everyone does enjoy it. i'm very grateful that i am able to enjoy it and the rest of the day i will now spend tidying up my desk and hopefully i could probably get a few of the bricks from the bag away but then i'll be working on the build for tomorrow's video stay tuned another update to the mannequin hand and honestly this one is the best one yet though i'm sure i'll say that about all of them make sure you are subscribed and i'm gonna end the video here so i can get straight to sorting so thank you for watching and as always may the bricks be with you